and welcome to Orion Today. Today is Tuesday, October 24th, and I'm your host today, Tracy Woodrum, joined by... Kim Urbanowski. Kim, thanks for joining us, Kim. Thanks for having me again. Yes, well, and this is actually my first time hosting because they finally decided to let Joe Johnson take a well-deserved <laughs> vacation, yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, this yeah. is exciting for you. Yeah, so that's fun, and I'm glad I get to, I get to be up here co-hosting with you, so it's a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. We have I'm some happy. great guests today and do. so yeah I'm excited for today yeah it's a lot so. of guests today so I'm pretty excited to hear about all these these important things going on in the community so. yes but right now so we're at we're at the 24th we are the this weekend coming up is yeah. the weekend before Halloween mm. and there have been so many events going on in and yes. around town have you I know your kids are like like mine they're a little yeah. bit older for some of those you know small kid activities but it's still so fun it the is. downtown was so alive with the the parade and then doing the the donuts and cider in children's park and yeah. i don't know if you you still get to see any of the activity you know so my youngest he's 13 so yeah. we do you know things around our home and and all of that but my stepdaughter who lives with us um works for a daycare okay so they both left the house at like 7:30 on Saturday to do the trunk or treat at the school that she works at. Aww. So, you know, there's a little bit of it still happening and we did yeah. work on his costume this weekend. So, you know, but he's kind of doing his own thing and doesn't really need us to yeah. you know, <laughs> guide that anymore. I know it's it's uh, mixed emotions, right? It As is. they start to get a little bit older, yeah. but I still love being able to be around and so close to all of it in the community yeah. and yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a, a lot of fun. But some other things yes. exciting or something big that has been happening here in Lake Orion is our Dragons football team. I know. Amazing. Oh my gosh. They I know. Just beat two undefeated teams, right? Going up against each other. They beat Celine in Celine, Celine at yes. home. Um, we had some people in the chat room who were providing us with yes. updates for those of us who didn't have the streaming yeah. service. So, yeah, it was uh, it was really exciting, and the Dragons came out with the victory, and they are I nine know. and zero. Oh, so Can you believe that? I am so excited. That's amazing. Yeah. I have a couple friends with kids who are on the team. I'm, you know, we're in in that in between phase. I just have one in middle school, nobody in high school right now. But I'm like vicariously watching on Facebook to see people updating yeah. the scores, yes. and it's so great to see everybody. Um, get super excited about it. So yeah. go Dragons. Yes, go Dragons. It's been so much fun. And I know you said you don't follow like the NFL football. Mm. I know uh, there, we have an ONTV fantasy football league. Do you? And, yeah. So this is my first time doing fantasy football. Okay. And, you know, going into it, I really never followed any of the players. Okay. Um, so my draft, I actually got by Yahoo and F rating. And, oh, um, no. <laughs> but up until this week, I was undefeated. I went 6-0. and oh, Take um, that. But yeah, uh, <laughs> Joey, our producer here today, his wife is also on the team, and she she took me down this week. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I had okay. my first loss, oh, but it was really, it was really fun. It's been, it's been a lot of fun to do it together mm -hmm. with the, the ONTV staff oh, cool. and volunteers. So. That's fun. That's fun. So yeah, yeah. You, should, you should give it a try. Maybe I next might. year. So I do actually like watching football. I, okay. I do like, and I like going to the high school games and being there among, you know, the action and stuff. But yeah. I don't know it's just it's, I, maybe I'll give it a shot I'll give it a shot give it a try you yeah. never know you might you might like it I might. So. <laughs> and then I know you have had um, you've had kids in band right and I do so that's yeah. kind of our Super Bowl in my house right yeah. so um, you know we had a competition last week at the high school uh, and they did pretty well they did second they came in second place okay um, and my daughter is actually still kind of helping with the color guard and she does it you know tacking for that but um, our our big thing for marching band is next weekend at Ford Field, so it's Ooh. state finals at Ford Field. Oh, that's um, exciting! And it's usually really really a cool thing to see all those kids. Um, yeah, they've practiced so hard every year. They really do. Um, mm -hmm. Whenever I'm driving to the high school to pick up my son from his gap clubs, yeah. and he's on the esports team, and the the students are always out there, mm -hmm. and they are they sound fantastic. They work so, so hard. They, they really work so do. hard. I went to band camp with them twice, and just to watch them go for an entire week of having, we you know zero movement to all of a sudden having a show is just incredible, yeah. and they don't stop so. 
from. Yeah, I'm quite proud of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very exciting. Yeah. So, do you have any plans, big plans for this weekend or for Halloween coming up? Um, so Halloween, we, I mean, we're just passing candy out, but yeah. um, the one thing we're doing right now at the township that's kind of cool, Halloween related, is that we've all, all the departments have um, decorated a pumpkin, and okay. so there's a contest. So oh, okay. um, there are quite a few, um, you know, the treasurer's department did the gumball, so if anybody wants to vote for that one, <laughs> that's fine, you can do that. But you're not, you know, no, like, I'm not. No, there's no extra candy or anything? No, like, no, 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 <laughs> no. But so every department got, you know, yeah. this. So there are some amazing ones. The building department did this whole vignette with a plumber. You just if stop by have to stop, stop by Township see. Hall and yeah. see it and vote. Um, it's a friendly competition, friendly. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's super fun. We've, yeah. we've been doing. I know a couple of years. I think it last year was the first year. But anyway, it's fun. Okay. So that's what we're yeah. doing. And then um, I do yeah. remember seeing them last year, and mm -hmm. they were pretty amazing. Yeah. And being able to go and cast votes, yes. and so yeah. I'll have to make sure that I I stop in before yeah. I leave. I'm actually. Uh, Heading someplace where the sun shines this weekend, Ooh, so that would be nice. Yes, going to Florida to visit some friends. So bring back some sunshine, please. Well, I will try. I'm coming back <laughs> on Halloween, so oh it gosh. would be nice to have nice warmer temps yeah. instead of rain this year for Halloween. So I know, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know, and and we've still got to decorate. Our, our neighborhood does a decorating contest and the whole thing, and yeah. We haven't decorated yet, but maybe we'll go this weekend. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just pulled out today a few strings of lights to put around my, <laughs> my front door. That's about the extent of my decorating these Something. days. Something. Yeah. We had a whole <laughs> scene on our front porch last year, and it was pretty cool. But yeah. you know, everybody's so busy this year. Uh, That's well, all right. we do have some, some video footage of um, the awesome and unique foundation. They had a trunk or tree, and Joe, before he, uh, he went on vacation, he attended this. Um, oh, cool. So this, uh, the, the AU, the Awesome and Unique Foundation, provides free events in Lake Orion and the surrounding area for the special needs community to promote inclusion and acceptance. Uh, the Trunk or Treat was held for the first time at Friendship Park this past Saturday on the 21st. Um, which I'm actually really glad that the weather held out because it right. was supposed to be rainy and cold all yeah. day. And as you can see, it was a beautiful day, a beautiful day for yeah. that. Um, there were dozens of local businesses and community organizations decorated. Um, they decorated their cars, handed out candy and goodies to the trick-or-treaters in the parking lot. Um, yeah, we had the, the, everybody enjoyed food and refreshments. There were crafts at the park building in the multi-purpose room. Um, it just, what a great day. I, you know, I miss attending all of these things, you know, no. as my kids have gotten older. I and, know, me too. But you know what? Maybe I need to put it on my list to volunteer. There you, you know, go. Next year. That's a So good idea. now that I know, you know, that yeah. this, this is something, this is an option. Um, the organ organizers are uh, currently raising funds to have a float at the Orion Lighted Parade, which oh, is good. on December 2nd. So that, if you put that date on the calendar, yes, that's always a great event. I'm volunteering for that. I'm actually helping, um, <clears throat> well, I don't, I don't know what if I want to say, you know, characters. I'm helping some characters that day. Helping characters. Okay. Yes. All right. So, yes. That's, that, that's yeah. a fair statement. And you know what? That's a really good point that you made about volunteering too. Yeah. Some, like when we're in this, you know, the kids are older and yeah, yeah we should be. Yeah. It's a fun way to mm. still stay connected. So sure. if you want more information about the Awesome and Unique Foundation, you can visit their website at AUSNF.org or you can find them on Facebook. So that's a great way, great organization to get connected with. Look them up. So, yeah. So now we'll uh, we'll take you to, we have a news break, the, the DDA Halloween Boo Bash 2023. Ooh. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what we have there. On the evening of Wednesday, October 18th, ghosts and ghouls of all ages descended on Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion for the DDA's Halloween extravaganza. Sponsors and local businesses set up trick-or-treat stations throughout the park to hand out candy to the little ones. A DJ provided the spooky tunes as families enjoyed cider and donuts and plenty of photo opportunities. The event was free to the public. This is Halloween extravaganza, Lake Orion style. We're all out here having a great time. The, um, what is your name of your school, guys? Walden Middle School.
school is here passing out cider and donuts. We have over 20 vendors. I believe there's a tall dragon around here somewhere and there's some pretty good music. That would be great for you to, to organize something like this and see the community respond. Absolutely, absolutely. That's why we're here. We want our community to come and enjoy their downtown. We want this to be the heart and hub um, for them and where they can create cherished family memories uh, year after year. On the evening of Friday, October 13th, families were invited to come out to the Orient Center for Orient Township's popular Boo Batch event. Families enjoyed games, crafts, cider and donuts, face painting, and the Leslie Science and Nature Center brought along some creepy crawlies. Visitors were also able to take a hay wagon ride to a pumpkin patch. Trick-or-treat stations were manned by local businesses and community groups. The event is something the community and the park staff look forward to every year. Yes, I think this is one of the community's favorite events. I know it's my favorite event. Um, this is a really good time. I love the decorations and the atmosphere. It's just, it's a fun, and the kids love it, and you get to run around and be crazy in their costumes. The first Boo Bash took place in 2008 at Friendship Park and moved to the Orient Center in 2012. Well, we wouldn't be anywhere, first off, without our staff, our park staff, our maintenance staff, our recreation staff. They're all help out. And, everything. Um, also without our millage, um, this makes it possible and also keeps the cost low for families um, to come so that if they have multiple kids it's not uh, you know super expensive for them to come. This is our way of giving back to the community. Um, it gives them a safe place to celebrate, um, you know be with the community with other people, kind of learn more about what we do and it's just um, it's our way of giving back and having letting the people have fun. Next up, Orion Township Parks and Rec will be hosting Car Bingo Spectacular on Wednesday, October 25th at 5.30 p.m. in the parking lot of the Orion Center. Each car load will be given a set of bingo cards that you'll mark when you hear the numbers being called over the car radio. Honk your horn when you win and claim your prize. Be sure to wear a costume. For more information, visit OrionParks.com. Well, that looked like a lot of fun. I know. Yeah, the boo bash. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but now we are back, and we have some guests here with us from the Pine Tree Center. We have a special education teacher, uh, Rebel Molina, and one of the students, Ariel Foley, which mm -hmm. I know them both very well, and I'm so excited to have you both here. So welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you yeah. for having us. Yeah, absolutely. I think, well, the first thing we want to talk about is, so Pine Tree Center, it's been around for about five years, but I don't know if anybody, if everybody in the community knows, um, you know, what we're, what we're doing there at Pine Tree Center. Would, would you just tell us a little bit about like Pine Tree Center and then specifically we can talk about your program there. Okay. Um, so Pine Tree Center, um, we have several special education programs at Pine Tree Center. So downstairs we have four center-based programs that provide special education to all kids in all of Oakland County with ASD and EI impairments. And then upstairs we have our phases program, which is our adult post-secondary program, which just helps adults with special needs ages 18 to 26 to be able to get employment, get employment skills, learn um, daily living skills, um, socialization skills, and ways to navigate the community so that they can be as independent as possible. Awesome. Yes, mm -hmm. and I um, I know I've had the privilege of being able to spend time not just in the building as a, I'm a guest teacher, ah, um, nice. but, uh, <coughs> but in the phases program specifically. And I absolutely love the students, uh, I've developed great relationships, um, and just it's just amazing. Uh, one of the things I'd love to say, I mean, I wanna hear you talk about, one of the things I would love to say is that um, Pine Tree Center, every time I step foot there, it feels like, I call it like my utopia. Everybody <laughs> there is so kind, so genuine, like everybody truly cares about one another. It's really a very special environment. So um, I'm so blessed nice. that I've had the opportunity to get to know all of you and and become a part of it. Yes, so. you are our favorite guest teacher. Oh, thank you. You <laughs> really are. You always make our day, like all the time. Uh, well, you make my day. I mean, really, yeah. I go in and always smile. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the phases program and what, um, what you do? Like, what does a typical day look like at Pine Tree? I feel like every day when I go to Pine Tree, I always feel like I learn something every day. Yeah. Like, I always learn 
like um, learning how to do like stuff in the community yeah. and learning to get a job and which is my goal to get right and I oh and I did recently get CPR certified okay because I took a CPR class and I passed it congratulations yes because I'm interested in like doing like child care and stuff and that was my biggest interest That's and wonderful. I feel really um, really excited because I feel like I've got I've grown so much Yes, yes, yeah. and so Exciting. and you go off on a job site, right? That's one of the things that as a student in phases that you can apply for and that you can do if you have an interest, right? And yeah. so you go to, what job site are you going to currently? I go to the Early Childhood Center. Okay. And I help the kids out when they need it and I also entertain them. Yeah. I feel like they really love being around with me. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I'm sure that they do. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they do. You have such a kind heart. And yes. So, and I know mm -hmm. you enjoy going there, and yeah. I think that's something that the, the kids probably pick up on as well. They know that you enjoy being there. It's what you want to do. It's where you want to be, mm -hmm. and they can feel that. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, I feel I feel it a hundred percent whenever I'm there because I always like to be around with the kids and they always like like to be around with me and I'm like yeah I I'll keep entertaining you and stuff it's really fun yeah. and and we always uh, do like they do like projects and stuff and it's fr it's always interesting I help the kids out whenever they need it too. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you mm -hmm. have that opportunity and that you're yeah. enjoying it. And like yeah. you said, it's helping you gain the experience. Yes. And so that when you're ready to, to when it's time to graduate, then yeah. you can you can go off and have experience moving into that next role. Yes. Yes. So. I'm so ready for the next role. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm so ready for it. Oh, you're because I feel the confidence. Are in you me. you're graduating oh, wow. this this year? Is yes. This your last year. This is yes. your last. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're you're in the home stretch now, right? Yes. <laughs> yep. I feel I feel like I really grown over the years and I just feel like I'm ready for the next chapter in my life. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. And so some of the other things rebel that like you do in the class, I know when I've been there, I mean you're there students are learning a lot of skills that most kids, I think growing up and I they're young adults, but even kids like don't learn about, mm -hmm. which is like how to write a check, how to do ele electronic banking, like mm -hmm. understanding the difference between a want and a need when it comes to bills. And yes, yes. So um, we try to give them lots of opportunities. Um, we want it to be not so much like paper and pencil, but really like a real hands-on learning experience. Mm -hmm. And we want them to get regular practice all the time so that they can develop all kinds of skills to be as as independent as they would like to be. So I know you've seen we've got that grocery store yes. in our classroom, yes. so we can practice it as a mock job site so kids can learn to stock groceries, bag groceries, use a cash register. But we also will have them make a weekly meal plan and then make a grocery list on a budget and be able to shop and work with money and budgets. Um, you know, we do a lot of different job training things. So we have a PAYS lab, which helps the kids to discover what, they, um, what strengths they have vocationally. And we do a lot of different trainings because we're always looking for job sites. So we, right. what we try to do is it try, we make it student-led. So we like to know what our students want to do, right. and we help them to see what their strengths are, and then we help them um, by facilitating them to build the strengths in the areas that they need. So we're always looking for local job sites as well. So okay. we are always very appreciative of job sites. So if, they're, if anyone's ever interested in hosting us, we're specifically right now looking for some restaurant job sites. Okay. Oh, so if there's nice. any restaurants in the area, please mm -hmm. contact Pine Tree Center. All right, yeah, local restaurants, Yes, definitely. we do, and you know, when, when you are a job site, you'll get um, one of our paraprofessionals with a couple of our students mm -hmm. and then whatever the skills are we can always help them later on to develop them so if they need something we can always teach that skill but it just gives them more experience to work yeah. in the community hands-on and then to see if they really like it and then we can figure out what we need to do to support them. That's awesome right and that makes such a difference and we have some photos here of yep. some job sites uh, some of the students out on job sites um, it really does make a difference being able to get out and get that practical experience but then like you said having the paraprofessionals that go out as well so that if there's an area that mm -hmm. they might need a little more you know assistance in or training um, that's something that can then be provided and mm -hmm. worked through um, so that mm. they yeah. Like, and we like right. to take, we'll take data in that moment so that then when they can come back, the teachers, we can write a program to help them with that. 
So it's just, and then we can also get feedback from our job sites to see what, what skills we need to be teaching better, you know, and, and what skills they've really valued that our students have had. So I will say they always love our students' attitudes. You yes. know, we've oh, got yeah. the best attitudes ever. They're oh. always willing to work hard and do whatever they can. 100 so, percent. Yes. I, yeah, 100 <laughs> percent. So how many, how many students do you have in the phases program? In the usually? phases program, we usually have around 50 students. Okay. So we have students at, um, different, um, that need different levels of support. Sure. So mm -hmm. some students need more support and some students don't need as much support. And, so. and you said, so restaurants, what are some other, and, and child care, obviously, what other kinds um, of things? So we work at Myers um, okay. at the Goodwill. We work a lot with Lake Orion schools, so that, that's been really great. So some of our students work in the custodial departments. Some of our students will work in, like, we have a student that works in the media. Sure. Um, a little bit we used um, Sprout Bake. They're a local yep. business. They've, mm -hmm. they've given us a, a, a job site as well. So um, we also are at the library, at the bowling alley, at Colliard Lanes. So we do lots of different things. We, we don't turn down anything because we, we right. want the kids to discover all the different jobs that they can have, you right. know. And I mean, do you remember what we were talking about earlier today about, mm -hmm. do, do you want to maybe share that about how? What about the CPR? Um, no, about, the, about what you were telling me earlier about what you wish the people knew about people with special needs. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I, I think I kind of remember. Do you remember you were talking about how you feel like, you know, you can do the same thing that other people can do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could do the same thing like 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 how everybody else can do. Yeah, you just need and, a, Yeah. You just maybe need a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I might need like a little more help. Yeah. In the, but only it. in the beginning. Yeah. Right? Just in the very beginning and then and then just get I might just need like a little guidance and then afterwards I I got it. I got it. And you got it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I know something else that um, the Phases program participates in is you do some Dine to Donate, right? Because there's yes, oh, lots yeah. of opportunities. Um, I mean, it, anybody can just donate if they would like to the Phases yes. program, but you do periodically Dine to Donate. Do yes, you want to tell do. us a little bit about that? Yes, so we have um, <laughs> one of our students, Nick Lutke. He is an awesome DJ, yes. and he oh, DJs yeah. all of our oh, events yeah. as well as our, as our social nights. Oh, um, yes. So we do this about three times a year at different restaurants, local restaurants in the area. And you can come there. Um, so our first one is November 16th from 5:30 to 7:30, and 20% of your full bill will go be donated back to us. So it is very helpful to us because then we can buy more um, supplies for our students. Um, you know, they make products and we sell them, and all of that kind of helps us to go back into our program so that we can have more stuff for the for the students. You know, another thing that we had done recently is a car wash. Um, which has been really neat because um, we did it for the first time last year and then so the students did a car wash and they raised probably about three or four hundred dollars last year and then for the rest of the year we took the supplies and we made our own car wash club so the students learned every single part of washing a car we watched videos about how you have yeah. to be careful with the paint and how you have to rinse it off and how you have to dry it so that the second year that we did it um, they did it all independently and they got it all done and it was it's been a great fun thing they've learned a lot of job skills in it and you know we made our own little promotional video as a commercial which was yeah. great so the kids we watched <laughs> the old rolls um rose is it rolls royce what's the car wash song at the car wash yeah we watched the, the original video oh, yeah. oh, I yes sad, i sadly missed that you one. did miss oh, getting no. into this i was out, out of town she was, yeah. oh, it's she another was. Music video. <laughs> but the kids had a great time we they like it. watched it and then they they planned everything out and then they shot mm -hmm. it and then i showed them how to like put it together we produced it and they also do a lot of different things. This year, um, they've made some, I wasn't able to get them all to you, but they made like on Down Syndrome Day, they made a nice green screen recording. Oh, yeah. So that's another thing that they've been working on is mm -hmm. different recordings and stuff. So they really enjoy that as well. Which mm -hmm. is another skill, by the way. Yes, I mean, it is. You know. Right, yes. Because then, you know, maybe you could be up here instead of Tracy next time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. 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 job. Yes. 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 I'm trying to push you off the throw there, but I'm here. You, you could, this could be uh, another job site, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I would right. probably say, yeah, I I got this. I feel like <laughs> I've got it all handled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. doing great. I feel like I would do great at it. Oh, yeah, because I feel like I've really, like, grown over the years, and I feel like it's this program's really helped me through. 
that's like a honest. good confidence yeah. booster. For yes, you. I yes. boost up my confidence ever since. Good. Yeah. yeah. Aww. And you mm -hmm. guys, and the Faces program gives back to the community as well, yes. right? You so this programs. year, one thing that we're doing this year is we are starting. Now it's for it's just for other students. We're not going to be sure. opening it to like the whole public because sure. we can't let people just come in. Right. But we are doing our own clothing closet. So the students are taking in clothes. They're repairing the clothes, washing it. Then we're hanging it up, and then we're like we're going to be taking. Um, you know, inventory of what we have. So they'll be learning skills that they could mm -hmm. if they were working in a clothing store, and then we will be giving back to students within our schools and the families within our schools. So that's one thing that they do. And they do a lot of, another thing is they also volunteer um, once a week. One of our job sites is that they work at the food pantry. Um, is it Forgotten Harvest? Forgotten Harvest. Yes. Okay. So, so they work yeah. there. And just any time that there's something that we can do. You know, we we have a lot of families that we try to donate for at Christmas time as well. So yes, our students, it's kind of very important. I was having that conversation with you. Mm -hmm. um, it's always like people want to help people with special needs, but we want them to know that mm -hmm. our kids can help the community. You know, yes. they have something to offer. They don't just need something from everybody else. There's lots of stuff they can offer if they're just given the chance. Yes, that's mm -hmm. awesome. So that, that could be something too, if there's opportunities for the FASA students to come and volunteer, that, yes. that mm -hmm. could be something that would be uh, definitely contract Pine, Pine Tree Center. Yes, please do. So. We've got a lot of great hard workers and we would just love to come and help you guys. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So anything else that you want to share with us, Ariel? This is your 15 minutes of fame, right? So you may not have made the car wash <laughs> video, but <laughs> look at this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You are front center on stage. Oh, yeah. I feel, I feel like I'm one of the, like, I just feel like I'm already famous already <laughs> with this. I'm going to get your <laughs> autograph when uh, I'm in school should. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, let me see your autograph. <laughs> You're already famous already on live television. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to tell them anything else that you've done or that you're proud of from this year? Or? Um, I'm really proud that I passed the CPR class, and I really picked it up really fast. I've done online CPR as well, and I've studied, wrote everything down, and I know how important it is to yes. make sure you gather all the information. Yeah. And, and now I know it all. That's, yeah. that's an excellent thing to know for yeah. sure if you're working with kids yeah. even. Yeah. So yeah. Rebel, if anybody wants to either donate or has a job site opportunity or an opportunity for the students to come and volunteer, what is the best way for them to contact Pine Tree Center? Um, so you are you can look up our phone number yeah. and you can ask for Randy DeRiker. So she is our transition coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody would like to make any type of a monetary donation just to help us with our program, our supply budget, you could just contact um, Jamie Evans, who is the principal of our school. Okay. Um, but really, anybody will. I mean, there's always things that we could use. We right. always appreciate any support that we have. Yeah. Um, I just really feel like we want to give our students the same opportunities that every other student have. Yeah. And we just feel like it really isn't just like donations either. It's really just an right. investment in everybody else's community. You know, yes. our students are great and they are really amazing people and we just really appreciate any opportunity that we have that we can just share that with others. Yeah, so. Well, I'm so glad that you came and joined us today and you do have a Facebook, Pine Tree Center has a Facebook yes. page as well, so if you're interested in seeing more yeah. of the photos and mm -hmm. you know different events and, and uh, work job sites and be sure to follow them on Facebook because yes. there's you can get all of the scoop there as well. Yes, so. there's always something on there. Yeah, so yep. you'll they're see always, something. They always keep you posted and they'll yep. have stuff on there like the latest. Yes, yeah. so mm -hmm. be sure to follow. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. Thank having you. you today. Thank yeah. you, we thank look you. forward to seeing you again very soon. So yes, yes. we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, all right, well, we are going to, um, we have a great uh, Halloween special for Love, Inc. So we will show you that before we return with our next guests. Wolfman Mac and your old pal Boney Bob. Hey, happy Halloween and welcome to our haunted pad. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, we're here in Haunted and Heights getting ready for trick or treaters that'll be coming out tonight with treats and these classy decorations. You call this cheesy plastic pumpkin classy? Huh, 
Where'd you get this stuff anyways? At the landfill? Pooey! No, 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 that's, that's where I got the treats that I'm handing out to all the monsters and zombies tonight. You found them bananas at the dump? Nah, I got these bananas just in case King Kong shows up again this year. Yeah, last year I, I gave him some candy corn and he went ape. Well, he got angry and I think he soaped our windows. Uh, what makes you think it was him? Well, for starters, the soap was as big as a bathtub. What's that? I don't know. What are you supposed to be, like Chewbacca or something? No, I'm a werewolf, and you picked the wrong night to enter my forest. <laughs> Is that a toupee? What? No. <laughs> that's a toupee, and it's a very bad one. <laughs> yeah. No, that's my real hair. So, um, let me let me get this straight. You're telling me that when you, you turn into a werewolf, you grow hair everywhere but the top of your head. Okay, well, now you're just being me. <laughs> wow, you must be really popular with the ladies. <laughs> Too much body hair and no head hair. <laughs> A baseball cap. <laughs> That's not fooling anybody. <laughs> Alright, you really asked for it now. <laughs> get the ball! Get the ball! Go get the ball! <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> There's nothing more powerful than churches working together to serve their neighbors, regardless of denomination, worship style, or doctrinal differences. Because together, as Christians, we make up the body of Christ. And when we come together to help our community, we can create life-changing support for those in need, showing our neighbors what love in the name of Christ really feels like. And that's truly transformational. If you're ready to join a bigger vision in your community, visit loveinc.org to find out more or contact your local Love Inc. to get connected in your community. Oh, that was a that that was a fun video, the first one, and mm -hmm. a touching one. I know. Uh, a touching promo after All the feelings. But, All yeah. The time. Yes, um, but now we are joined. We have another set of guests today. We have with us Denise Zook and Patricia Shapira. Mm -hmm. Welcome Thank from you. Love Inc. Glad so, to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, so good to see you. <laughs> nice yeah. to see you too. Yes, mm -hmm. I know we've had you on on the show before, but for those who might be first time viewers or first time hearing about Love Inc., can you just share a little bit about what you do? Yep. Um, so our mission is to mobilize local churches to help transform lives. And um, we've been around since 2007, and we are part of a national organization. There are probably about 110 of us nationally. We started here in Michigan, and um, we're just excited about the changes that we have at our organization. We started um, after COVID to see people in person for intake. So somebody calls in um, and they talk about a need that we, you know, that they might have. And we're more interested though, not just giving a hand out, but a hand up and, and building a relationship with those folks. So we invite them in, find out how they got into the situation that they're in, what resources we can offer them to help them get out of where they are. Yeah. That's fantastic because I think most people aren't looking for handouts, right? Most people just find themselves mm. in a tough time. And yep. so mm -hmm. someone who truly wants to build that relationship and get to know them, I, I think that is wonderful and means so much. So. Yeah, we, we love to have folks come in. We laugh with them, you know, pray with them, cry with them when we hear their stories. It's and even if it's just that one hour that we see them and you know we can offer some of those resources but it's all about making connections with people because at the end of the day i feel like that's what we're here to do 
just make yeah. connections with people because everybody has a story to share and it's just important to hear what you know everybody has to offer because everyone has something to offer yeah, yeah. true Absolutely. And so how do you um, receive your funding or what, what do you do to be able to continue to help others? So um, we're funded by donations from individuals, churches, um, businesses, grants. Um, we're always looking for, for new ways um, to fund. We have, typically we don't do a lot of fundraisers, but we are doing, and we have a few campaigns throughout the year. Right now we're doing our Double Your Dollars campaign. Okay. And so until the end of October, um, every dollar that you give is going to be matched dollar for dollar. Um, we do an end of the year campaign. Kim was asking, we're also doing our um, Share the Love event, our second annual one at Indian Wood. That's going to be in April, so we're really excited about that as well. Yeah. So donations are always accepted. Right. Um, we love we love when folks drop off um, clothes at our clothes closet. Mm -hmm. um, we like to you know offer folks the dignity to shop there. So someone will come in and they'll say, for example, you know, I can't pay this bill or that one, and we try to help them learn how to manage their own money by offering a trip to the clothes closet or a voucher so they can, don't have to spend money on that, but manage their own money to pay for the bills that they do need to pay. Yeah, we're, we're looking for a spot for our Bed Blessings and Beyond ministry okay. um, that was at Lake Point Community Church. We had a flood there, Ooh. so we have new items that are stocked up, but we're looking for a home about a thousand square feet to be able to house that ministry so we can offer that once again to folks as well. Okay. Um, we were offering a money management class, and now we're also offering one-on-one -on -one budget counseling, so we're really excited oh. about all those new changes, yeah. That's yeah. such an important piece of the puzzle. I Absolutely. think sometimes that, you know, when you're in a position where, you know, you don't really know how to budget and manage the money and things like that that's where it gets out of control you know I mean yep. and that's that's such an important piece of the puzzle I worked for an organization a long time ago where we were talking about people who were in recovery and the fact that sometimes they grow up and they don't you know they don't have those skills to begin with we were talking earlier even about you know balancing a checkbook and things yes. like that mm -hmm. you know we maybe take them for granted take those things for granted but that's such a big piece of the puzzle and and I remember when talking to you a long time ago about you know changing how how you ministered people and yep. and and give them that that leg up it's such an important piece of it so because um, yeah. if we do it for them that's not helpful so we no. need to teach them and there's right. there's no shame and if you don't know like there are things that all of us don't know and that we can I mean we're always learning absolutely right. it's a lovely thing to be able to share that with someone sure yeah. do you have people that help you with those programs or do you so um, right now we have obviously that um, we have one of our former board members who's doing the one-on-one -on -one budget mm -hmm. counseling. Um, she had actually come up with a six-week managing, managing money, sorry, say that quickly, yeah. five times, <laughs> um, a managing money class. And we were actually um, shopping around if it will be okay with her to offer that at one of our partner churches so that they can actually start to minister more people that way through those classes. So yeah. Wow. Yeah, volunteers, it's all volunteer led. So, you know, that's it's always a challenge. <laughs> always a challenge, but a good one. Right, yeah. There it is, that word again, volunteerism. Volunteer, right? Yes. So, <laughs> well, I've already heard a couple things for anybody watching. If you mm -hmm. know of or have a thousand square foot uh, facility mm -hmm. to yes, be able to right. house the the um, Bed Blessings and Beyond Bed ministry. Blessings and Beyond ministry. Um, yeah. Or if you want to volunteer and get involved, maybe you have a special skill, right, mm -hmm. that could help Absolutely. some. Yep someone else. Yeah, so. Financial mentoring is a, a skill that we're looking for, for sure. For okay. sure. And you have the Better Together event coming up, right? Yes, we do. Can Take it away, Denise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Denise, <laughs> tell us a little bit about it. Um, we're partnering with, um, we're hosting along with ourselves, Love Inc., uh, the Lake Orion Lions, and also right. Su Su Susie Q Kids. All are three nonprofits. And we're hosting an event on November 16th at the Orion Center from 6 to 8.30 p.m. And the idea is that as we bring these other nonprofits together, we can find out how we complement each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was done by the Sterling Heights Lions last March. And over 250 nonprofits were invited and 150, 100 attended. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. So what might happen is the Rotary might be able to help the Kiwanis who might be able to someone that does something for um, babies or whatever it might be. So it, it, you have to almost look at it as speed dating. So okay. we'll be oh, yeah. at tables of eight or, <laughs> All right. eight or ten yeah. people at a table. Yeah. And what will happen is you'll sit at that table and you'll give about two to three minutes to talk about your organization. So you go around the table, all those notes will be kept and uh, shared, and then all the information, the contact information for those nonprofits and each of those people involved will be shared as well. So you'll spend 20 minutes at that table, and then 20 minutes later you go to another table. Then 20 minutes after that, a third table. So in the course of that time, you'll learn out about 30 different nonprofits. So we're really excited. We haven't had anything like this ever in uh, Northern Oakland County. So it's our first annual collaboration event, and we look at it as we're better together. Oh, and I just love the that. fact, I mean, the, the enthusiasm that I've heard with the groups that I've talked to was, oh my gosh, this would be so. Like I talked to a man out in Novi the other day, and he said, we run a, a food pantry. We would love to be able to come and talk. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone else that was helping. Um, housing for children and someone else, mm -hmm. again, trying to uh, clothe young men, whatever it might be, um, we feel that we can complement each other, but we have to know it about each other first. Right, know and understand what you what you each do and what resources yeah. are available mm -hmm. and where some of the different strengths are with each organization. I love that, I think, I mean, because no, just like no person is an island, no mm -hmm. organization sure. is right. an island, and so we're all interconnected and Finding out how we can all help each other, I think that's yeah. wonderful. So anybody so. that would like to participate, I mean, you don't have to necessarily be a member of a nonprofit, right. mostly like you would, but someone else that might want to, just for general information, they'd be welcome as well. Okay. If there was a business maybe that they wanted to learn more about nonprofits or maybe a nonprofit they might want to dotate, donate to or volunteer with, that would be fine as well. Okay, and or, yeah, like you said, if you're not already connected with one of the organizations, you it sounds like it might be a great opportunity to learn about quite a few, and you might find your passion, I right? Know. Where do you so, want to spend your time? Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. so. Yeah, I oh. think it's a great way too for us to, you know, find out what those other nonprofits do, but also, you know, find out what um, might be some common struggles mm -hmm. and yeah. you know we can say okay we're experiencing this you know if you guys experience the same thing you know what have you done to right. you know solve that problem I think it'll be a great way to share resources that way yeah that's an excellent yeah because there are you know from one nonprofit to another it doesn't really matter there's always that how do we find the volunteers how do we yep. appreciate the volunteers how do we get the word out how do uh -huh. we promote what we're doing how do we get more people involved so um, that's that's an interesting uh, take on it, the networking part of it. I think that's super important. Yeah, this sounds really interesting. And then and then again, like if there are people out there that maybe just want to show up, that have some time mm -hmm. to maybe find. You know, that's the hard thing about you know nonprofits is is that marketing piece, that getting mm -hmm. out. You know who we are, what we do, because most of the time people are volunteers, and you know you're mm -hmm. you're giving as much as you can and. Um, it's, it's hard to get the word out sometimes, so this is a really great thing. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. We're looking forward to it. And I mean, it. when when I went to the one um, in March, just this is the first time I was exposed to it, I, it was the night of the Michigan State basketball game, and I really wanted to watch the basketball <laughs> game. But I went to this event, and uh, they had a woman from the Michigan nonprofit, and she talked about maybe some funds will be available. I mean, it was just like, it was like, there was electricity in the room, mm -hmm, and yeah. and the two people, the two parties that hosted it, and it was from the uh, Clinton Valley Kiwanis, along with the Sterling Heights Lions. So they came up with this idea, and so then uh, one of, uh, my contact over there, Dr. Mary Welch, she she and I had been talking, and we said, hey, let's try to do this in Northern Oakland County. We did it over in Macomb, so now our first annual here in Northern Oakland County, and we're hoping maybe this could be an annual thing. Yeah. This is our first annual, sure. and we could do it every year. That because the, the enthusiasm and the, uh, the electricity in that night was just amazing. Yes. And like if you're sitting there and you're talking about your nonprofit, you can t give an overview, but you also can say, hey, we have this event coming up, or maybe we're going to need some volunteers, or maybe we need donations. You have the opportunity with those people at your table sure. to be able to talk about your group. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many do you have? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no. I was going to say that I don't know the registration right now. Making, yeah. yeah. I don't know how many yeah. we have. Now. Our goal is to have 100. Uh, the okay. Orient Center could all hold up to 200. Mm -hmm. But if we had 100, it would be fantastic. And then we're having hors d'oeuvres, and it, you know, it, it, it's a really nice evening. That's it. I'm there. I know. I was just going to say, the food is always a draw. <laughs> so heavy hors d'oeuvres. There's food. Yeah. You don't have to come hungry. You can come hungry, and you'll feel okay. That's amazing. Oh. I think you'll get 100 for sure. 
Yeah, well, yeah. people so, have been yeah. reaching out. So. Yeah, we reached out to the chamber and got a list of some of the nonprofits. So okay. that would be a great way to start inviting people, and then mm -hmm. it's just you know word of mouth and Facebook and yeah. email blasts and. And yeah. how does someone sign up if they want to? Um, be a you part would of go it? to the Orient Center website, okay. and then from there, I think um, Orient Parks. I think it might be on your channel, but you go okay. there, and then from there, you look up um, the nonprofit event, and from there, and it's an $18 registration fee, and uh, after the first of November, it'll be $20. So okay. it's pretty reasonable as far as coming. Absolutely, pretty cheap date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like for that speed date. Speed date. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With orders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do it. There you go. And in this way, the, the nonprofits don't have to try to go into their treasury to pay, pay for this. With this $18 that we're covering, that will cover the hors d'oeuvres, mm -hmm. and then we'll probably um, have a 50-50. Raffle, and in that 50 50 raffle, whoever wins that, it'll go to that nonprofit, the person that's from that nonprofit. So that's pretty exciting, too. Everybody likes yeah. a good 50 yeah. 50 raffle. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Yes. Yeah. So, so, anything else that you have coming up that you want to share with us? Well, you could have the date for the uh, share the love. Is yeah. it April 4th or April 6th? <laughs> April 6th. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we're, this is like a save the date, right? Yes. So, yes. so <laughs> April 6th of 2024, we are doing our second annual Share the Love Gala at okay. um, Indianwood. So, we're excited to have it at Indianwood again um, this year. Um, we already have some great. Um, um, well, I, oh, I can't get the right word out. We have silent auction items, but yes. the live auction items, we already have a half a dozen that are pretty exciting. Really? That we expect yeah. we'll bring in some. So yeah. I went last, er, this to the one for this year, and yeah. it was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. We had a good time. I won a basket. Uh -huh. uh, yes, nice. I did. What was in your basket? What was in my basket <laughs> was a, a lot of hand-knitted um, oh, scarves yeah. and oh, things like I that. So those. I think it was a little too late, so it's coming up on that time. It's in my closet on the top shelf, and I can start pulling yeah. that down. Because I think in April, maybe it was a little too late to it start was wearing them. But in advance, I was yeah. so excited. But it was, it was a beautiful event. I mean, yeah. it, it, and, and tearful and emotional. Oh, and yep. the stories that were shared was amazing. So And we're going to share some more stories and have a professional auctioneer this year. So that'll, oh. be, that'll be awesome. Yeah, that'll be awesome. So Chris did a great job last year. And we're going to... We're going to up it a little bit more this year, so we're really excited about that. And we just, I mean, the purpose of the event is just to get more people in the community aware of the great work that I believe that we do. And it's it's not to be boastful, but, you know, we, I'm going to start crying. You know, yeah. be, just because it's really important for us to make connections with people in the community and serve them one-on-one, -on -one because that's what we're all about. So I have to bring this up. I think we've got a couple more minutes, so I can just uh -oh. bring this up. One of my favorite stories ever was from years and years ago when we had a Coffee Connect for the Chamber, and you all hosted it. And then somebody told the story. I think you were telling the story about when you um, drove that individual to a job um, interview or something in Detroit. Remember that? We um, were talking about yo, that. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, I My do favorite remember. thing is to watch Patricia yeah. get emotional <laughs> and misty eyed. Oh, because absolutely. honestly, I'm I'm not kidding and I've known you a very long time and we yeah. are friends, but my favorite thing about you is the how genuine and authentic you are Thank about you. the work that you do mm -hmm. and that everybody at Love Inc. does. And it's 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 a genuine, authentic, beautiful organization that Thank everybody you. should get involved with. Donate something. I don't care what it is. Love Inc. is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I Thank do you remember too. that. Yes, you did. I, do. <laughs> I, I didn't did know it. Gonna, there was another story. I thought you were going to tell about the one oh. where I was telling a story, and I said, no, I'm going to cry now, and someone wisecracked about, oh, Patricia, she's always crying. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> but I do remember that story, and actually, I got a parking ticket. I dropped someone off at, she was at, um, I think it was Salvation Army for a job interview. I do remember that one. Yep. <laughs> That's a good story. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> well, you tell oh, stories that, that make connections sharing. and touch, and, mm -hmm. and, and so that's that's the thing, is that it's a lasting impression. Thank you. Aww. Well, yeah. thank you both for joining us. We, we appreciate you being here and sharing what your organization's missions are. And thank if you. anybody is interested in attending the event um, on November 16th at the Orion Center, um, you can visit orionparks.com and register for that. And if you want any more information about Love, Inc., you can visit their website at noc.org. Thank you. Right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. It's Thank you so here. much for joining us. Thank you. So, and Thanks, now I think we're going to show you some highlights from Homecoming. <laughs>
Victorian Ooh. homecoming. So. <laughs> On the evening of Friday, October 13th, the undefeated Lake Orion Dragons hosted the 2-5 and five Farmington Falcons during homecoming. The start of the game was delayed about an hour due to a widespread power outage earlier in the day. During Lake Orion's first drive of the game, the Dragons have the ball on Farmington's 22, facing a second and four. Quarterback T.R. Hill is under center. He takes the snap and hands off to Billy Roberson, who runs into a crowd of defenders, but takes it outside and goes into the end zone for the first score of the game. The Hoffman PAT was good, and the Dragons are up 7-0 with 11 minutes left in the first. On the Dragons' next drive, Hill is in shotgun on Farmington's 30, facing first and 10. He takes the snap, keeps it, follows his blockers, and drags a defender into the end zone for the TD. The point after was no good, but the Dragons extended their lead 13-0 with 7.29 left in the first. On the Dragons' third drive of the first quarter, it's first and goal on the sixth. Hill is under center and hands off to Ray Payne, who goes wide right and scampers into the end zone untouched. The PAT was good, and the score is 20-0 with just under five minutes left in the first. Let's go to the second quarter. The Falcons are threatening to score from Lake Orion's 12-yard line. On second and nine, quarterback Julian Johnson is in shotgun. He fakes the handoff, rolls left, and hits Owen Madison in the end zone for the score. The Falcons are on the board. It's 20-7, Lake Orion. With 1.15 left in the half, the Dragons are facing a first and goal on the 15. Hill is in shotgun, he takes the snap and scrambles. He sees an opportunity down the sideline and takes off, reaching the end zone. A successful two-point conversion makes the score 28 to seven Dragons with under a minute to go in the half. But before the half can end, the Falcons get a first and 10 on their own 37 following a Lake Orion penalty. Julian Johnson is picked off by Peyton McIntyre who returns it to the 23. On second and seven from the 20, Hill finds a wide open Billy Roberson in the end zone for Lake Orion's fifth touchdown of the first half. Lake Orion 35, Farmington 7. At halftime, the homecoming court was introduced to the crowd. Returning to Dragon Stadium were last year's King and Queen, Nick Noose, and Grace Sullivan, who were instructed to crown the 2023 King and Queen. Mario Barishai and Dory Suhai. All right, tell me what's going through your head. A lot of things. Uh, it's cold. I'm chilly. What about you? Uh, my hands and feet are numb. I didn't think we would win. I'm excited though. That's all. What was your reaction when you heard your names? I don't even remember. I just no thoughts are running through my brain. I don't think. Mine was oh my god. <laughs> That's just really thing you want to say to your classmates. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much for the this is amazing. Moment. And thank you to the performing arts program. Yes, it, it, thank we you so appreciate much. it a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Let's get back to the game. With 9.46 left in the third, the Dragons have a first and 10 on their own 37 yard line. Hill is under center. He hands off to Billy Roberson, who goes up the middle and turns on the Jets on his way to a 63 yard touchdown. The extra point was good, and that's how the game would end. 42 to seven Dragons. With the win, the Dragons improved to eight and zero on the season. They travel to Saline on October 20th to wrap up the season. Then they find out who they're hosting in the first round of the playoffs on October 27th from Dragon Stadium. This is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News. Uh, another great homecoming and some highlights of our awesome Dragon football yes. team. <laughs> yes. If you want to catch the, the Dragons in the first round of the playoffs, they are playing this Friday. Our first playoff game is against Oxford Ooh. at Lake Orion. Ooh. So that is going to be a great game. It will be a great game. And how could you? Oh, see, like we love our Oxford friends, but but it's I a it's a it's a fun, friendly rivalry. Right. So I it mean, is. go Dragons. Yeah, go exactly, go Dragons. Go Dragons. So <laughs> for sure.
Oh, now you were just telling me about mm -hmm. an award that was won. Yeah, so I um, would like to say thank you, a big, huge thank you to ONTV. Um, last month, the township was represented at um, America in Bloom um, Symposium, and we had submitted a video um, about our township and our village, of course, you know, produced by ONTV, and it was both a People's Choice Award and a Judge's Award. Um, and, it, you know, it's a beautiful video. If you haven't seen it, go on to the, you know, YouTube and, and find it there. Um, but the big the big thing is that we, we won both. We won the People's Choice and we won the Judge's Choice. And, of course, we wouldn't have been able to do it without Aww. everyone here at ONTV. So I wanted to extend um, on behalf of everyone who went, Julia Dalrymple, um, Sam Timko, Jenny Body, and myself and everybody at, you know, the township to to thank you very much for um, helping us do that. Yes, I know. I think I think the the staff and volunteers at ONTV are yeah. second to none and stellar. Yes. Mm. So thank yeah. you for all that you do. So, um, well, we have uh, we have some quick hits coming up uh, of what's going on around town this week. So we will throw it over to Becky's compilation. Alrighty then. On Wednesday, the Orient Parks and Rec will be hosting a Car Bingo Spooktacular. Bingo will be taking place at the Orient Center parking lot from 5.30 to 7. Numbers will be called over the radio. If you get a bingo, you honk your horn and come up to claim your prize. All ages are welcome. Join the Orient Library on Wednesday evening for more Halloween fun. Meet in the Reading Garden at 7 o'clock with your flashlight and take a spooky stroll through the woods. This stroll will include a scavenger hunt and other fun fall frights. All ages are welcome. For more information, visit OrionLibrary.org. On Friday, the Orient Center Branch Library will be hosting Senior Social Hour from 11 a.m. to noon. Seniors meet on the second and fourth Fridays of each month for a chance to get out and socialize. Each week will feature a different topic of conversation so that their participants can enjoy the company of other seniors. Join the market farmers and vendors for some trick-or-treating fun at the Oakland County Farmers Market. The event will take place this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The market is located at 2350 Pontiac Lake Road in Waterford. For more information, call 248-858-5495. Well, now let's take a look at this week's weather. Wednesday's forecast is calling for showers with a high of 61 and low 58. The showers continue on Thursday morning with a high of 70 and low 63. Mostly cloudy skies on Friday with a high of 72 and low 50. Mostly cloudy again on Saturday with a high of 54 and low 45 and showers on Sunday with a high of 49 and low 46. Well, that's it for this week's ONTV Quick It. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Well, there's a lot going on in and around town, and there's yeah. still some Halloween activities, so if you didn't get your fill yet, um, definitely check out some oh, of those yeah. events. <laughs> definitely. And you're so, on your way out of here. I'm on my way out of here. Just in time. Just in time for the rain, but <laughs> the rest of you, you'll be okay. There's, there's we'll plenty to plenty to keep you busy so <laughs> but I so I have to mention something that so my son recently told me that there's this thing called like that they do sometimes on TV shows and stuff called an Easter egg oh yeah and it's like something that's kind of like there but maybe a little bit hidden and it doesn't affect what's happening you know on mm -hmm. screen one way or another um, so I had to do a little Easter egg today since I knew I was going to be here hosting and you know it's, <laughs> it would be very I mean you really have to be looking um, but <laughs> I'm just curious if, if anybody picked out what my my Easter egg is I, I may have clued you in Kim if you want to I know you want to know what it is you want to share <laughs> My socks. I love them. I have Halloween They're so socks. cute. Uh, and there's pumpkins and bats, and they say boo. <laughs> we were just making the joke. You said you had to wash your shirt because you'd yeah. already worn it. And then, yeah. But you know what? Never mind. You're good to go. Right. For this, yes, I know. I have, I, I don't know how, but over the years, I've collected probably at least a week's worth of Halloween socks. <laughs> so I have no problem with the socks, but yes, I do have a, a t-shirt and it's orange with a big, like it's a jack-o'-lantern face. Mm -hmm. And um, the Pine Tree Center, who we had on earlier, they, yeah. the Faces program does, they do these social events for okay. for the staff and alumni, you know, students who have graduated oh, and yeah. it's really fun. And, and Nick, the student DJs and we dance. And so I, I was at that and I wore my pumpkin shirt, but I'm actually gonna be in their building for orange and black day tomorrow so i let them all know you 
might see the same shirt on, but it will be clean. I, <laughs> I did my laundry socks. this weekend, so <laughs> yes. But yeah, the socks. So that's my that's my They're Easter so egg. So They're cute. Yeah, that's fun. I. It's, I had never heard that term before. No, no. Usually My, like at the end, like yeah. if there's like, in, you know, uh, um, like during the credits or something. Yeah. If you don't stay, then you don't see the, the yeah. Easter eggs. So my son, my 16 year old son, Colby, filled me go. in on that. <laughs> so, Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So, well, it's been great. This has been so much fun hosting together yes. with you, Kim. Um, yeah. It was, it was, I enjoyed myself. So, me although too. we will welcome you back, Joe, so yes. don't get any ideas, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you all for joining and thank you to our guests from Pine Tree Center and Love Inc. Um, we appreciate you, you being with us. And again, remember you can check out on our website or as well. If you wanna get involved with either of these organizations through donations, through volunteering, please do so. Um, yes. There's always great opportunities. So Yes, there are. So, all right, well, thank you all. Have a great week, happy Halloween, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.